What's up guys, Evil D here, and I'm back for some more World of Warcraft slash Esperanto lessons. So, I guess we will begin with a little bit of revision, shall we? So first up, what is the word for pillar or column? Such as those ones down there. It is colono. Colono. And what is the word for uh, basilisk? It is basilisco. Basilisco. And do you remember the word for tower? It is Turo. Turo. And you know what? I just noticed this massive temple over there, and we're going to see those like temples a lot in this game. So I might as well teach you the word for temple as well. The word for temple is templo. Templo. And I guess I'll start referring to those now on when I see them around the place. So what is the word for um, 39? It is Tridecanal. And what about Dia? Uh, there's one down there somewhere. It is Tsurvo. Tsurvo. And I taught this one like once during lessons like way back but then haven't touched on it since. What is the word for grandfather? It is Avo. Avo. And do you remember grandmother? It is Avino. Avino. Remember, you just got to put the female suffix in there. Now, do you remember, and you, you should definitely remember this one if you saw the previous lesson, how to say more. It is plea. Plea. And how would you say, I'm bigger than the deer? Mi estas pli granda ol la cervo. And how would you say the giant is bigger than the dragon? La giganto estas pli granda o la draco. Okay, and what was the word for a professional swimmer? It is nagisto. And what about someone who's just um, swimming in this very moment? That's what they're doing right now. They're not professional. Well, they could be professional, but they're just, it's just something that they're doing. It is Najanto. Najanto. Ah! This um, hippogrifo volas moditigimen. So this hippogriff wants to kill me. Okay, let's just get past him because I really want to get out of this part of the map and I actually want to go to a totally new area. That's my objective for today. Apart from, of course, teaching you new words. So, first up, the word I'm going to teach you is the word for family. Because I want to start building uh, like some sentences around family relations and stuff like that. So the word for family is familio. Familio. Okay? Ooh, ooh, ooh! You see the little rabbit? Oh, it's so cute. What was the word for rabbit? <laughs> it was cuniclo. Cuniclo. And do you remember the word for hair? You know, the uh, the more wild one, bigger long legs and ears and stuff like that. It is leporo. Leporo. Okay, that's a lot of revision. I, I should get into the lesson. So what was the word for family I just taught you? Familio. Familio. Okay. Now we learnt more, which is plea. So now we're going to learn most, because most usually goes with more. It's like the... I don't know what I'm trying to say. So how would you say, well, you can't really say it, but I'm going to teach you the word for most. So the word for most is play. And the way to say um, it is the biggest giant, you'd say, G estas la play granda giganto. So it works exactly like plea. So if you wanted to say, um, so based on what I've just taught you, how would you say that tree is the biggest tree. Tiu arbo estas la plej granda arbo. Tiu arbo estas la plej granda arbo. Now you guys probably recognize where I'm walking. We came up this way and we went into that territory. I remember how those things were skulls because they were just so high level. Yeah, well hopefully they're not skulls anymore, otherwise this is a wasted trip. Okay. So, I'm going to teach you the word for world now. And the word for world is mondo. Mondo. Okay? So, how do you think you would say 
Um, I, so you saying yourself, not like me, you don't have to talk about me. So saying, I'm the most beautiful person in the world. Now you know all of these words, but we haven't really used in in this context. So just give it a shot, see what you get, okay? Uh, this is bad. I'm getting hammered here. Oh, no, I haven't got a shield, I haven't got a shield! <laughs> okay, so that is Mi estas la play bella en la tuta mondo. Oh, wait, I haven't taught you tuta yet. There you go. So tuta means um, entire, okay? So there you go, there's a new word for you. But to say I'm the most beautiful in the world is just Mi estas la play bella en la mondo. But yeah, I can't get up this goddamn mountain. Okay, I gotta walk around it. So how would you say he is the most beautiful in the entire world? Li estas la play bella en la tuta mondo. And how would you say that mountain is the biggest mountain in the entire world? Tiu monto estas la play grande monto en la tuta mondo. So if you got that, you're awesome. Just remember that. Okay, so we're finally heading over here. Oh wait, I almost left my body behind. Oh, oh no, don't make me go all the way down here to get my body back. Okay, there we go. We got it back. Okay, so we've learned play. Let's learn a few other words. So I'm going to teach you the suffix for a um, member of a group, okay? So it basically just means member by itself. That's one thing you guys should realize. In Esperanto, most suffixes can be used standalone as well, or they can be used as suffixes. So the suffix for member, or member of a group, is ano, ano, okay? So how do you think you would say, um, and now you know all these words, but we haven't learnt again this particular phrase construction. So how would you say, how many members are in your family? Okay, I'll give you a little bit of time to think on this one. Now, if you said Kiom da Anoi estas en via familio, you would be correct. But a more usual way of saying it in Esperanto is Kiom da Anoi havas via familio. Okay? Now you're probably thinking, hey, hang on, how come via familio isn't in the accusative case? It should have like an N sound at the end there. Well, no, don't get confused just because you're, it's changed the word order. Via familio is actually the subject okay and the subject of the sentence and it's asked what the did someone just shoot an arrow at me what is that oh hello so yeah it's actually the subject of the sentence and kiom da anoi is actually the uh thing that's in the accusative case or it's a thing with the little n at the end but since kiom is a standalone word, it's not like a noun or anything like that. It doesn't actually put the N sound on the end. So, to say how many um, members are in your family, you'd say, Kiom da anoi havas via familio. Or you could say, Kiom da anoi via familio havas, if it makes you feel better about word order and everything. But it's usually the, the first one that I told you. But you know, you gotta get used to both anyway. So I randomly killed this night elf. I feel good about myself now. Awesome. So how would you say, um, let's think of another one. Uh, how many, ooh, oh, hello. How many enemies are in your city? Okay, now you know all these words again. Kiyom da malamikoi estas en via urubo or you could say kiom da malamikoi havas via urubo so let's just um get rid of this guy because he's really annoying the hell out of me right now okay so the next word we're gonna learn is uh the word for year okay and the word for year is yaro yaro so again based on what you know how would you say um, how old are you? 
Okay. Now there's many ways to say this in Esperanto, but based on what you know and what I've previously taught. So if you go based on another method that I haven't taught yet, well that's your own goddamn fault for jumping ahead. So, how would you say, how old are you? Kiom da yaroi vi havas. So basically what you're saying is, how many years do you have? Or how old are you? Now there is many other ways, as I said, to say this, but this is based on what I've taught you so far. So, how would you say, um, she is the ugliest uh, person, or she, she is the ugliest night elf in the world. She estas la play mal bella noct elfo en la tuta mondo, and I almost died. That's how freaking ugly she is. Okay. Now, not that I'm saying, you know, all night elves are ugly. I'm a highly positive person about these matters. Okay. So let's see, what else have we got here? What is this? I don't know where I'm going at the moment, but I like this area because it's green. Okay. So, now we're going to practice a little bit of what we've already learned so far. So how would you say, this is the smallest village in the entire world? Now I'm going to give you a little bit just to practice this. Chitiu villaggio. Estas la play malgranda en la mondo. Now, if you remembered Villaggio from my like second or third lesson, and I haven't used it since, again, you're pretty friggin' awesome. So, let's push on forward, shall we, to glory! Let's randomly attack this person because he had nothing against us, but you know, I'm out to make new enemies in my new location. What is that thing you just dropped? Okay, so how would you say, um, how old are you? Kiom da yadoi vi havas. Kiom da yadoi vi havas. And how would you say, um, how many members are in your family? Kiom da anoi havas via familia. Kiom da anoi havas via familia. Okay, so, we've learnt years, that's yado. Now we're gonna learn day. Or, sorry, yado is year, don't get that mixed up with plurals. So we're gonna learn day now, and the word for day is tago, tago, okay? So, oh sorry, I just saw that and I was like, what's going on out there? Ooh, do you guys remember the word for fire? Now, I don't think I've taught this in my World of Warcraft series, but I did teach it in my Left 4 Dead series. The word for fire is Fido, Fido, okay? How would you say he is the ugliest orc in the entire world? Li estas la play malbella orco en la tuta mondo. Okay, so what we've learned today, which is Targo, it's pretty useless by itself, so let's learn the days of the week. Now I'm not going to teach you all of them in this lesson because that's just a bit too much for one lesson. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to teach you just a couple of days of the week. So the first day of the week we're going to learn is Monday. And the word for Monday is Lundo. Lundo. Okay? And what is Monday? Monday is the first day of the week. Now we haven't actually learned how to say first, but we do have, I have taught the tools so far in order for us to create first. So what was the word for one? It was uno, uno. And the way to create first, second, third, fourth, fifth, etc, etc in Esperanto is actually very simple. All you have to do is turn a number into an adjective. So one is uno, and first is unua, unua. Okay, nice and simple. So, how would you say Monday is the first day of the week? Lundo estas la anua tago de la semana. And I haven't actually taught you week, so you're probably sitting here going, I don't know week. Sorry about that one. So, I might as well teach you week while I'm at it. So, the word for week is semaino. 
some mind not. And if you did know what week was, well that's because you've been cheating and you've been studying elsewhere. You've betrayed my trust. But anyway, so yeah, the word for week is semaino, semaino. So, how would you say Monday isn't the second day of the week? Lundo ne estas la dua tago de la semaino. Okay, we've pretty much reached the end of this lesson, so we're just going to have a little bit of revision before we just wrap it all up, shall we? So, how would you say um, this mob is the ugliest mob in the world? By the way, I'm just randomly standing here because I opened up my chat window. Chitiu estagio esta la play malbella en la tuta mundo. And I wouldn't really use Estulo for this type of mob because even though it's like humanoid, it's... Well, I guess you could kind of say, I don't know. You know what, this is going to be one of those things that I debate with myself for eternity. Just go for Estagio, whenever in doubt. Okay, so how would you say this mob is bigger than me? Chitiu Estagio estas pli granda ol mi. Now, I've been teaching bigger is granda, okay? But that's just talking in general sense. So I might as well teach you one last adjective before I close this whole thing up. So the last adjective I'll teach you is bigger as in height, okay? So granda is just overall size. When we're talking about height, we actually say alta, alta, okay? So how would you say that mob is taller than me, because that's probably the best way to translate it. Tiu estagio estas pli alta ol me. Oh my god, did you see his run then? It was so cute, he's like, <laughs> over like, I'm coming, I'm coming to kill you type of thing. So, I guess the final sentence for this is, how would you say he wants to kill me? Li volas modetigi min. Okay, guys, so I'm clean. Uh, I'm gonna wrap this lesson up now. So, if you've liked it, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. And by the way, I've noticed that these lessons have actually uh, less and less people are watching them. So, I don't know if that's because uh, they're getting boring or what's going on. So, give me your feedback and that will help me make them better. So, anyway, I'll see you in the next lesson. And if you're not there, well, guess what? I might miss you a little bit. <laughs>